Hi everybody, it's Tristan from World English School. I'm going to wait a little bit here uh, before I start the video. This is a book that I'm going to show you today, Jumanji. And uh, yeah, it won the Caldecott Medal, you can see there. Yeah, which is a very important medal for books, for kids' books. So yeah, let me wait just a minute here. It's nice to see you. I wanted to go out today to read uh, or to film something, uh, you know, around me here. But um yeah, it's been raining a lot and I'm kind of tired, so I'm just going to stay at the school today and do this book and some other stuff. So let me uh, turn the camera around. I think we can start here. Here we go. Right there. Okay. So this is Jumanji. And uh, the author has uh, Van in the middle of his name. <laughs> if you look at his name, it's uh, written and illustrated by Chris Van Alsberg. Yeah, I think Van may come from German or something. Anyway, yeah, do you know this Do you know this movie? Um, that's been made into two films, I believe. Uh, I know the one with Robin Williams. Um, and then there's a recent one that's got uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I think, as well as some other... Oh, Kevin Hart, I think, is in it. Uh, and then there's a famous lady, too. I can't remember her name. But, yeah, if you've seen the the most recent one, that's a very famous film, yeah. Yeah, so it's about kids who get stuck in a game, isn't it? Um, this was published in 1981. It says right here, 1981, right there, yeah, by Chris Van Ellsberg. Yeah, so that's one year before I was born, and that's like 40 years ago, isn't it? 41 years ago. Okay, um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I think I'm just going to kind of show you uh, the story. So let's kind of look at it. I want to talk about the differences between the films and the book. I only know the film from uh, the 90s. I think it's the 90s with Robin Williams. So let's let's see if, if you can tell the differences too. If you've seen the, the more recent film from the 2000s, the 2020s, see if you can tell. Okay, so uh, mom and dad are leaving. And these kids, I think it's brother and sister, right, are going to um, are going to be home alone. Okay, which is probably not a good idea, <laughs> because you know what's going to happen, right? Okay, so it's Judy and Peter. Okay, yeah. I wonder if those names are the same in the movie. Do you know? I think in the in the Robin Williams movie that might have been Judy and Peter. Okay, so Judy and Peter are going to be home alone, and it looks like they got all their toys out. Looks like they live in a nice house too, doesn't it? I like. I like the way that uh, Peter looks. I like his glasses and stuff. <laughs> and then, okay, so let's see, the parents, no, the kids are running off. So they set off to the park and it's a November. It says it's a, it's a November. And then they find a game. It's a game, says Peter. It's a, under, the, under a tree, there's a long thin box. And Judy says, what's that? And Peter says, it's a game. And then, Judy reads Jumanji, a jungle adventure game. Okay. And it says, read the instructions carefully. So they take it home. So they come back home and yeah, they do live in a mansion, don't they? Look at that. Uh, look at that statue. Wow. So then this is the game. It's just like a simple game, isn't it? Like uh, the game Trouble or the game, well, Sorry, is it? What's that? Very simple game, right? Or uh, Candyland, something like that, right? But then the game is really dangerous. It says... Very important. Once a game of Jumanji is started, it will not be over until one player reaches the Golden City. Oh my goodness. All right. So they have to finish the game and they have to reach the Golden City. And you can see it actually looks like a Golden City, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Because it's, it's actually illustrated there. And look, Dad has a pipe down here and they've got all their toys around here. They've even got indoor bowling. Huh. Cool. All right, so the first thing that happens, of course, is that there's a lion. So there you go. <laughs> and then he runs away, and he tries to get away. <laughs> so they have to win the game for the lion to go away. He says, the lion won't go away until one of us wins the game. So now the lion is chasing him, and he has to win. Next thing that happens is, what, chimps, chimpanzees? <laughs> uh, Judy t rolls the dice, right? So she it says... The, the square says, monkeys steal food, miss one turn. And then from the sound, from the kitchen came sound of banging pots and falling jars. And then there's a dozen monkeys, 12 monkeys. That's crazy. All right, next thing that happens 
is monsoon season. Monsoon is like heavy rains, right? So it says monsoon season begins to lose one turn. So then the, the rain began to fall in buckets as Judy took the dice. So look at Peter's got an umbrella and look at the, the chimps are watching. So now it's raining crazy. There's a lion and there's chimps. Next thing, there's an explorer. Who's this guy? It says here, who's this? Peter, it says here, excuse me, it says it, the, the guide. Guide gets lost, lose one turn. That's what it is. So then a guide shows up. And this is the character played by uh, Robin Williams, right? Okay, next thing. <laughs> it says, bitten by tsetse fly, which is an, an African fly, right? Contract sleeping disease, <laughs> lose one turn. And then there's a small insect lands on Peter's nose. He goes to sleep. Uh-oh. Oh, but then he woke up and then there's a, and then there's a rhinoceros stampede. What? Man, this is crazy. So now rhinos are charging through the house and then what happens next? Now there's a boa constrictor, python. <laughs> python sneaks into camp, go back one space. So now there's a python. <laughs> there's monkeys, a lion, an explorer, <laughs> rhinos, tsetse fly, and a python. <laughs> next, Judy lands on a blank space volcano erupts go back three spaces oh no so now there's molten lava coming out of the fireplace lava's coming out of the fireplace and then there's water on the floor so it makes steam oh look look what happens finally please please judy begged as she shook the dice the snake was wriggling as his way to the floor she dropped the dice from her hand one six then another so two sixes judy grabbed her piece and slammed it onto the board jumanji she yelled as loud as she could so that's the end, right? Like, everything goes back to normal. So that's the whole book. That's the idea, is like, they have to get to the end, and they have to yell Jumanji. And then they go to sleep. <laughs> With the puzzle half done, <laughs> they, uh, they were doing a puzzle, right? And then they go, they go to sleep. They fell, they fell fast asleep. And now it's just normal. And look, Mom and Dad are home. And then Mom says, Wake up, dears. <laughs> Judy opens her eyes. Mother and Father returned. And their guests were arriving. I guess they're going to have a party. Judy gave Peter a nudge to wake him. Yawning and stretching, they got to their feet. <laughs> Mother introduced them to some of the guests, then asked, Did you have an exciting afternoon? Oh, yes, said Peter. We had a flood, a stampede, a volcano. I got sleeping sickness, and Peter inter was interrupted by the adults' laughter. They didn't believe him. Well, said Mother, I think you both got sleeping sickness. <laughs> Why don't you go upstairs and put your pajamas on? Then you can finish your puzzle and have some dinner. So <laughs> they didn't they weren't believed. Uh-oh. Look at this. So now what happens at the end of this book, I don't remember in the movie or either of the movies, but they they went they went they left the puzzle out again. Okay, yeah, so they must have put the puzzle back out or somehow the puzzle got back out. I don't know exactly what happened, but then they weren't, they were looking out the window, Judy and Peter, right? Two boys were running through the park. These kids here, they were Danny and Walter Bud, Budwing and Danny had a long thin box under his arm. So the whole adventure is going to start again. That's the whole point, right? Is it just, it's like a magic game that never really ends. Oh man, I guess that's why they can make more than one movie. <laughs> so anyway, that's Jumanji by um, David Van uh, Alsberg is the name. So let me switch it back to me. So yeah, I really wanted to, like I said, I really wanted to um, go outside today, but, uh, and I still might go, but it's, I'm, you know, it's just the rain has been heavy. We had a typhoon in Japan, like a big hurricane. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just happy to have stayed here and read this to you. And I appreciate you watching. And that is called Jumanji. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Stay away from the lions and the chimpanzees. Bye-bye. <laughs>